morning. I am in town this morning with mum. We're having a bit of a girly morning. We're gonna do some shopping, probably go for some lunch. It was actually snowing this morning, um, but in town it seems like, I guess there must have been snow because we're only half an hour outside of town, but maybe it's just all cleared up already. Um, but back at home, there's still a good amount of snow. So I'm really hoping it doesn't melt so we can take the dogs out in the snow later. But anyway, I'm actually here for a dentist appointment this morning because I've been thinking about getting just like a little bit of work done to my teeth, nothing major, um, just like cosmetic kind of stuff. I think I'll probably do, if I do anything, it will just be like some sort of composite bonding just to neaten up my smile a little bit. And he calls me Miss Round Teeth because my teeth at the front are ever so slightly rounded at the bottom rather than square and i know it's nothing major and i know it's really silly but so i'd have a consultation and see what i think um and then we're just gonna have a girly day we're going to the cotswolds this week too so it's just like a bit of a weekly vlog i'm just wearing um a v-neck knitted jumper which is for a massimo duty a shirt underneath which is my mum's but it's from zara then i've got my big max mara coat on my jeans which are dish and then my max mara Them. Yeah, it's just going to be a really lovely girly day. Um, so I'm going to head off so I don't make myself late. My appointment. Oh, and these are mango. And this is from my fiance. And so is this. And th these rings, by the way, actually, this one is a vintage Trinity ring from my parents for Christmas last year. And then this is my parents' wedding band from their actual wedding day when they got married because my mum now has like a different one. She wears my granny's one. I now have two very, very special rings. Three actually, because this one was a Christmas present. Also, my skin is not great today, which is annoying, but not the end of the world. this blazer it's in the sale in and other stories but we're just discussing whether it only looks nice because I'm wearing like a shirt and then this so it's quite formal but let me know what you think Just jump back into the car. I've got a tea for the road. I've got an Earl Grey, and we're going to quickly get home so that Mum and I have got time to still take the dogs out, and hopefully we get some snow for them. Um, but the dentist went really well, and I think I'm going to go for it and book in to get them done. Um, which he said he's got an appointment in two weeks, so that's very exciting. He basically mocked up on one of my teeth um, what it would look like, like sort of roughly but also it gave me a good idea um, but because they don't attach it properly he just takes off the whole layer that was over my teeth so this this will be my new front teeth which is I mean not exactly this one I'm not sure whether he was joking or not but he did say some people take the same with them and I thought well I'm gonna be one of those people so yeah very exciting <laughs> to take the dogs for a walk. I'm really hoping that the snow hasn't melted too much because there is nothing that Rue loves more than playing in the snow. Dad said this morning when he let the dogs out, um, Rue was just doing laps around the garden, which is what she does when she's overexcited. Thank you. 
back home now and I'm actually about to take all of my makeup off and get cozy because mum and I are going to make an apple crumble and then sit in front of the fire and watch an episode of Slow Horses. I bought a couple of new um, cleansers. These are both on the recommendation of my friend Alex. She's Alex Cole on Instagram and she has the most flawless skin I've ever seen. Like I just have never seen skin like it. She is the definition of glass skin. Her skin is perfect. She highly recommended these two. She does a double cleanse routine which I'm really hoping will help because I feel like my skin potentially has been playing up because I don't think my cleanse is very good so I'm worried that it's not properly removing my makeup so I think doing like an oil cleanse and then another cleanse on top should probably sort that out and then hopefully this little breakout will clear up. Um, so the first one she recommended, like I said, is an oil cleanser, it's this one. Um, it's a brand called Pie, I'm not too sure how you pronounce it. And then followed by this fresh soy face cleanser, um, which I've actually seen all over the internet, I've just never given it a try myself. It says it's for all skin types, so that's a good sign, but I'll let you know how I get on with them. Let's go and get cozy and make a crumble. joining me halfway down to the Cotswolds this morning because my sister is opening a new coffee shop so my sister's got a couple of coffee shops and her new one is opening tomorrow so we're heading down today to see how it's going um, and then we're gonna go for a big family dinner to celebrate her opening another one and then tomorrow is the official opening day so we'll head back down um, and see how she's getting on on her opening day I know that it will be amazing because she's such a little entrepreneur Sophie is she's four years younger than me um, but she was really really young when she got her first coffee shop I think she was maybe even like 21 or something and she grew that business so much that then she's obviously gone on to open another one now um, I keep asking her to open one in Manchester because it's honestly the best coffee shop I don't often drink coffee but if I was going to drink one I want one of those coffees it's just so good um, and I always get like a turmeric latte or something from her and she has the best pastries as well um, so we'll see she said she's maybe working on Manchester but yeah it's a really nice feeling as a big sister to watch your little sister just grow into such an independent capable woman like it honestly when I hear about everything that goes into owning a business it's just so impressive so I'm really really proud of her I know that all of us are really really proud of her it's called the Scandinavian coffee pods so if you are ever in the Cheltenham area definitely go especially if you're really into your coffee because it's like a specialty coffee place and just no one does it like she does so that's what we're doing down in the Cotswolds but we've also got a lovely couple of days planned um we're staying in a really lovely country kind of pub and there'll just be lots of walks in the countryside as always and I'll show you around some of my favourite villages in the Cotswolds. Anyway, better get back on the road so I'll see you when we get there.
just finished up at the coffee shop. It looks amazing, she'll do so well. I have every confidence and I know that tomorrow, the launch day will go amazingly well as well. I'm really excited to go back and see how that all goes tomorrow. I'm just about to pull up to Dunkerton's to get some late lunch. Dunkerton's is on the outskirts of Cheltenham. I went in one of the vlogs that I did at some point in December and loved it. But there's a few different food stores and there's a bar and then there is a food shop that stocks Dale's products, which is amazing. And I need to grab a couple of bits today actually. And in the shop they have the best salad bar. So that's what we're about to go and get for lunch. And then last time my mum and I shared this vegan um, mushroom pizza that was so good. I think it was truffle. We're gonna head in quickly and grab some late lunch. On the way to the hotel now so that we can check in drop off all of our stuff quickly get changed pop out with the dogs before it gets completely dark because there's a really pretty walk in the village right near to the hotel so i thought we might be able to squeeze in a quick walk before the sun completely sets <laughs> bathtub in the middle of the room and then there's this like really cozy little kind of writing desk area the bathroom through there and then this is where the bed is i really like this little um painting i really would like to get some more um paintings for the walls this year this is the bathroom shower oh i make myself a cup of tea see what they've got is that english breakfast tea yeah, we're in luck. Just me and you. You're like a little travelling dog, aren't you? You're always somewhere. A little backpacker. Hmm? You're always somewhere different, aren't you? Yeah. Are you so gorgeous? She really takes it um, in her stride because she does it so often. There's a really tiny little water bowl or a shrew or something. I'm not sure if you can see. Just move it. But he is so cute. It would make sense to be a water bowl this close to the water, wouldn't it? Yes. Aww. He's so small. He's not scared of us, is he? Really quite likes the look of that bowl. spoken to you today because we've just been here there and everywhere we have had a very busy afternoon we um went with some lunch at Dunkerton's although half of the stuff in Dunkerton's was shut today which I've never seen before when we last went to Christmas it was like super busy everything was open and there was loads of choice but maybe midweek things are closed I'm not sure but we still managed to get salads and then we uh, drove to the pub that we're staying in. We're staying at a place called the Frog Mill, which is just outside Cheltenham, um, near to Shipton Olive, if you are local. Um, and yeah, we checked in here and then quickly popped out with the dogs because it was already getting dark. It was only about 
4.30, the days are definitely getting longer because it was still light or sort of light at half past four. So then we took the dogs out and now we're back at the hotel, going to have a really quick turnaround, um, maybe retouch my hair a little bit because it's gone very, very flat from the icy cold weather outside. Um, and then we're going to head downstairs, have a drink, wait for my sister who's going to join us here and then we're all going to head over to somewhere different to have some dinner tonight. But yeah, it's just been a very family and dog kind of day and then tomorrow it's kind of more of the same maybe do a bit of shopping i think i'm going to see a friend from home tomorrow as well so i'll just take you along for all of it this pub that we're staying in is really lovely if you are looking for a very reasonably priced um base if you're exploring cotswolds i would actually really recommend this it's dog friendly it's very kind of country rustic um but the rooms are about 100 pounds a night which is actually very reasonable for the cotswolds and you're probably only sort of Oh, I'm not so sure from Cheltenham. Maybe like half an hour from things like Dalesford. Um, maybe a bit more than that. I'm not too sure because as a family, we've never really lived over this way. Um, my sister lives near here now, which is why we always kind of in and around Cheltenham. But growing up, I grew up near to Chipping Camden, if any of you know the Cotswolds. And then we've lived in a few different places and we ended up um, living. So my parents' house that they just sold was just down the road from Great chew um if you know that area that's probably my favorite bit of the cotswolds so my parents were there for the last however many years and now they are moving to another part of the cotswolds but that's a story for another day it's funny because we've moved a fair bit over my lifetime but always within the cotswolds we've never actually left the cotswolds never really left within kind of like a 15 mile radius of where um, I grew up and went to school, which I love because then it really feels like coming home when I visit my parents. But yes, they've got a new house, but that's why they're staying with us at the moment because they just had this awkward amount of time between their last place and the new house being ready. And I just thought it was really silly um, for them to lock themselves into like another long contract. So we just said they could stay with us for a few weeks. So that's why I'm having so much family time recently, which is really lovely. And it's one of those things that I know when I'm older, I'll look back on and think how lucky I am to have spent the time with my parents. When you get older, you really don't get the opportunities to spend long periods of time with your family anymore. So um, yeah, definitely feeling grateful for all the family time. I'm gonna quickly get ready and head downstairs for a drink. just been explaining to me that this roast chestnut thing here is like a really really old shovel and they used to fill it with chestnuts and then put the whole thing into the fire um, to roast the chestnuts. I was woken up this morning by the most beautiful sunlight coming through the shutters. It's one of those winter days today, like a perfect winter's day, where it's really cold and frosty, but the sun is out and the skies are just completely blue. So it's a perfect day for a morning stroll through one of the villages close to us. I think my parents and I are going to get ourselves up and out of the hotel and then head over to Bybury, which in my opinion, I think Bybury is possibly most kind of like picture book 
and chocolate box sort of Cotswolds village. It's really, really beautiful. So if you are ever visiting Cotswolds, so definitely recommend Bybury, but I'll show you a little bit of it this morning um, because I think we're gonna head over there, walk the dogs around, just enjoy the sunshine, probably grab some teas, coffees, maybe a bite to eat. And then we'll probably head over and see how my sister's getting on with her launch day. Um, fingers crossed they're doing well this morning. I'm sure they are, it looked so cool yesterday. And then I'm not too sure what the plan is for the rest of the day, um, just lots of pottering around. I have to just play it by ear and see where the day takes us. I had a really good night's sleep here actually. The bed is really, really comfortable, which doesn't always happen. But yeah, let's go and get this day started. <laughs> When we were driving through earlier today, mum and I spotted the biggest home sense that either of us had ever seen. So naturally, we've had to make a little pit stop before we head back to Manchester. We're just gonna pop in, you know, just in and out, just briefly, just have a quick browse, see if anything catches our eye. So let's go. everyone we have just got back to Manchester I did actually pick up a couple of bits from HomeSense but I thought I'd show you them in next week's vlog because I feel like you need to see things in natural daylight to really appreciate them you know like the colours and everything but I feel fully back into the swing of the weekly vlogs now um I'm pretty sure almost every video for the rest of the year will be a weekly or daily vlog I don't know what you prefer let me know do you prefer weekly vlogs do you prefer daily vlogs are there any specific videos you'd like to see? It's always really good to know what to show you more of, what to show you less of and all of that stuff. Um, but I think on the whole, it's gonna be a weekly vlog kind of year because I just feel like in a weekly vlog, I can show you a little bit of everything, which is kind of my favorite thing to do. So yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed this week's video and I will be back next Sunday with a weekly vlog. I will show you everything I got from HomeSense. And then am I going to London next week or is that the week after? I don't know, we've got a London trip coming up and we've got my teeth coming up as well. But yeah, we've got lots going on. So I hope you guys have the best week ever and I will catch up with you next Sunday. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.